With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A ball falls from a height such that it strikes the floor of lift at 10 meter per second. So if I try to draw, suppose this is the lift and there is an object, there is a ball here. Which tries, which falls from this object, which falls on the surface with speed 10 meter per second, and the lift is moving upwards with velocity 1 meter per second. So this is the initial situation of the system. So the two, uh, you have to find the velocity with which the ball rebounds after elastic collision with uh, will be. Okay, so that means after elastic collision, I assume that the lift will definitely be moving with the same speed 1 meter per second it will be moving with 1 meter per second in the vertical direction so i'll consider the velocity of the ball to be v so this is what we have to find since it is given it is elastic collision that means the relative velocity of separation relative velocity of separation of separation is equal to is equal to relative velocity of approach relative velocity of approach okay so the approach is it can be seen in the diagram one when the uh, object was moving towards the lift the floor of the lift and the separation can be seen in the diagram two so I can write the relative velocity of separation can be written as V minus 1, which is equal to relative velocity of approach. This is 10 minus of minus 1, which is equal to 11. Or I can write it as 1 minus of minus 10, as the directions are opposite to each other. So that means they will be added. So this is 11 plus 1, which gives us 12 meter per second. So that means the ball will rebound with speed 12 meter per second after colliding with the surface of the lift. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEAT level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.